at the net with Angelo shot the Rockets, Josh Tarver, Kyle Jeffers, Sasha Chewitz, and also Marcel Jones. So Oregon State, I mean, Soccer Rockets has got to, to look to, to get the shots up. That's the only way you can say it. I mean, he's going to be on the floor. He's not a defensive stopper, so they need him shooting the basketball. He came off about eight different screens, finally comes outside. The defense is chasing him and running out so fast that he has the ability to move to his left and go baseline and drop in a layup. There's no question about his lack of playing time this season. I mean, is he that big of a defensive liability for a team that's last in almost every Pac-10 offensive stat? There's your guy. Oh, I like him. 15 points to go, five rebounds. Jewish can't handle it. And Nick Young picks up the loose basketball. Dave yep. Pruitt is the team's point guard. Tough he has close, the ball now. Tough close quarters pass, but still, you got to be ready. Truist did not have his hands up and ready. Surprised by the shovel pass by Marcel Jones. Oh, nice little give and go to Taj Gibson. Give him 17 points as he gains more votes for the Pac-10 player of the week. <laughs> He's getting your vote, but see, that's what I was just talking about, having your hands ready. But right here, nice penetration on the part of Dwight Lewis. And right here, if we freeze it, right there you see his hands were already prepared to catch the basketball. And then the rest is just uh, easy, gravy, just up and over and get the, get the contact. But he had those hands ready. Sasha Chuj at the other end had his hands in his pockets. And he didn't even have pockets. So it's definitely hard to do. <laughs> no pockets. <laughs> Josh Tarver, meantime, picked up his third personal foul. And that's the other thing. Sasha at 6'10", defended by 6'6", Nick Young, and, and you're never going to make USC pay for having a smaller defender on such a big player. Kyle Jeffers sneaks inside, and he may have gotten bumped by a Trojan. And the personal foul is call against USC, and they're going against Taj Gibson. And that will be Gibson's third, uh, his second personal foul. He has 18 points on eight of nine shooting from the floor. I mean, good guys are just killing Oregon State. Gibson, eight of nine shooting. Stewart, six of seven. And Taj Gibson, that's kind of just par for the course this season. He's done an, an outstanding job. Again, a 21-year-old freshman uh, started high school late at 16 years old, but for the season he's shooting 64% from the field. So he knows all about maximum efficiency on offense. Now, we're going to say back to that 2-3 two, three, two, three zone to see if uh, you know they can stop the inside stuff, but now you have to worry about Logic Stewart, Dave Stewart, and Nick Young on the outside. And Dwight Lewis. Gibson, there's a high-low look, and he gets into a wide-open Nick Young. That's good passing. It's nice, but a little too easy of an entry into Gibson at the high post, and you, you get it in that position against the zone. The zone has to collapse around the basketball, and that's where you find the opening. USC four for four shooting in this first half. I mean, they had a 16-0 run to end the first half. Soccer Rock is misses. And yeah, that's, that's, three I mean, that's why he didn't get a lot of minutes. <laughs> that's why he didn't get a lot of minutes. <laughs> he knows kinds of deep jumpers that are early in the shot clock. You want them aggressive, but you want them smart. This is a very limited Oregon State team, too, and they were hoping to have Calvin Haynes from Taft High School as a freshman this year, but he did not make the grades and went to a prep school, and J. John desperately needs a guy who can give him some perimeter scoring. And he's a perimeter scorer, Calvin Haynes. I saw him play at Taft High School in, in Woodland Hills outside of Los Angeles. He, he's tough-minded also. Chewich. Fumble the pass, broke his rhythm. Hands weren't ready. Mentally, Sasha, not into it this afternoon. Played much better against UCLA on Thursday night. This entire team did. A lot more energy against the Bruins on Thursday night. Well, they did not have a challenging non conference uh, schedule, and uh, Oregon State does not have a big win this year. They perhaps came in with a record of 8-7, and seven, but they've had terrible losses to teams like Southeast Louisiana. They lost to Nevada by 28, and to Hawaii by 44. They beat Northern Colorado and Montana State. Thank you. Thank you. Again, the 2-3 zone from Oregon State. And again, just trying to, trying to stop the, the dominance inside by Taj Gibson. You got to, this is the pass you've got to try and prevent a little bit more effectively or else that's going to happen. He's 5 for 5 from 3-point range, 23 points. 
for Lodrick Stewart, his career best, 27 against San Diego. And the Cavs, Tyus Gibson doing a great job as the facilitator right at the free throw line. Marcel Jones, they say he did not charge. And the ball goes out of bounds to Oregon State. There's a time on the floor with 15.58 remaining in this basketball game. The Trojans are running away from the Beavers. has a 61-29 lead on Oregon State and this coming Monday it's the game college football fans have been waiting for as Chris Leak and the Florida Gators take on Heisman Trophy winner Troy Smith and the Ohio State Buckeyes in the first ever Tito's BCS National Championship game. Our coverage begins Monday at 7.30 Eastern, 4.30 Pacific in high definition only on Fox. And I think Florida has to play almost a perfect game to beat Ohio State. Buckeyes playing so well this year. Veteran-laden team. It's Oregon State basketball. Looking for some organization. USC working on their game after playing a flawless contest. They've hit 22 of 32 shots, only missing 10 field goal attempts. And the thing I like about USC, Steve, is, is the way they're functioning as a team. Even when Robert Stewart is the hot guy, Tyus Gibson doing some stuff. You don't see Nick Young and Gabe Pruitt forcing a lot of shots, trying to get numbers, trying to pad their average. Yeah, oh! I think they're enjoying winning again. And Tim Floyd has them doing that. And remember, Tim Floyd, 15 could have been absolutely...